So, just landed in Krakow and it's absolutely freezing but I just thought I'd make a quick video I'm not sure if I'm gonna get that much footage because I've got hardly any space on my memory card but I just thought I'd put a quick video together of how you can see the best things in 24 hours because we're only here for um, a short weekend stopover Krakow was founded in the 7th century and was the capital of Poland from 1038 till 1596. It's a gorgeous city full of beautiful architecture, delicious cakes and incredible street food. Here's what I got up to in my 24 hours here. So we've just joined a walking tour um, and we're heading into the Jewish Quarter. Mm. They started to build a very huge Jewish community in Kaisen here. Right now, they were not considering themselves thinner than it was. After walking through Kajimesh, we found this candlelit bar, which happens to be one of the oldest in Krakow, where you walk through a wardrobe and into a secret room. We had street food in mind for lunch, so instead we ordered a slice of traditional cheesecake, a coffee, and then a small soup to warm up. Of all the bars in Krakow, I'd definitely add this one to your list. For lunch, we were told we had to try this traditional Polish street food called zapikenka, which is basically an open baguette cut in half and then topped with cheese, mushrooms, and then loads of other toppings. And so we went to try it. It's so good. And it was four zloty. It's about 70p. For a coffee pick me up, I really liked Somnium Cafe Bar, which has plenty of delicious cakes and reasonably priced coffee. Right, another must see in Krakow is this place, which is Wawel Castle. Mm. I'm sure I'm not pronouncing it right, um, but it's absolutely freezing. So, another little note is Krakow in winter is absolutely freezing. Um, so, we've tried some traditional Polish baguettes. We're off to get some piegro. Pierogi, pierogi, which is kind of like a Polish traditional dumpling, and head into Wawel Castle. So far in Krakow, I'm having the best time. I just wish it was a little warmer, but <laughs> that's my fault for um, wearing a skirt today. <laughs> The next dish I wanted to try in Poland was some traditional golbaki. That's cabbage rolls to you and me. I wasn't really sure about this to start with, but the dish was actually delicious. Inside was stuffed with chopped mushrooms and pine nuts and rice, and it was actually really tasty. Obviously, we ended with strudel and cinnamon ice cream. This morning we stopped for a quick breakfast in a local cafe and ordered hot coffees and cinnamon rolls before our trip to Auschwitz, which is where I put my camera away for the afternoon. That evening we fancied Italian food and if you're ever in the mood for homemade seafood pasta and crispy pizza with all the cheese, then you know where to come. This place was amazing. I 100% recommend it. We ordered a lot of food and it came to less than £25 for the two of us. Right, so it's 
freezing and it's our last day in Krakow. Um, we're heading into the main square now, hopefully going to get some chimney, which is a traditional sort of pastry um, donut thing and then you can get Nutella on the inside with ice cream, which I'm excited for, and iced coffee. And yeah, just make the most of exploring before our flight home this afternoon. Another place that you've got to try when you come to Krakow is this. Chimney cake is like, it's kind of like a donut in that it's in a hard shell but the inside is super soft and it's got all like chocolate, well we got, we got ours with Nutella um, and it's like sprinkled with brown sugar and cinnamon on the outside and it's amazing. Oh yeah. <laughs> Mm -hmm. Back in the Jewish quarter, there are so many traditional restaurants to eat in. Once upon a time in Kashimish was recommended to us. From the outside, it looks like a normal row of shops, but inside, all the walls have been pulled down and it's a large, inviting, cosy dining space. We fancied pierogi, so headed next door to Slavic Feast. <laughs> So we're in a really small, cozy restaurant. Um, I think it translates as like Slavic feast or something. And we've ordered the traditional Polish dumplings. Mine are mushroom with feta cheese and nuts. And then we also ordered like the meat variety as well. There are so many different types of um, dumplings that you can order. Um, but we ordered this variety and it's it comes to 15 sloppy, which is about three pounds. So each of the meals was three pounds. Better than the last one. is a traditional Polish donut. We don't know what's in the middle, but it was two zloty 50, which is, well, 50p. So this is the traditional Polish donut. And I think in the middle, I think it's rose flavor. Let's see. <laughs> Tastes like the horrible Turkish delight in the middle. But yeah, it's not bad, I'll just eat around that bit. But um, if you like rose flavor, and then they've got like orange peel, rose, um, you know, unusual flavors. If you like unusual flavors, then definitely try one of these um, Polish donuts. They're only 50p. Right, so we're just leaving the Jewish quarter now. We had some lovely traditional dumplings there and we're heading back to the hotel to pick up our bags and go to the airport. So that's the end of our trip now. Um, and it's starting to snow, which I'm loving. I wish we were here a bit longer now. On our way to the airport. Um, we just got a ticket on the train, which was 18 slotty, so nine slotty each. Um, and it's snowing, and we're heading home. So thank you so much for watching my quick little vlog around Krakow. And if you liked it, then please subscribe, and hopefully I'll see you in my next video. We're just heading back for our flight now and it's started to snow which is uh, oh <laughs>